situation not because it was meant to hurt you or kill you. You're in a situation because it was meant to grow you. You're not in a situation because you're just going through. You're in a situation, you're in a circumstance, amen, because you, God wants you to grow out of that situation. Yes. Thank yes. you, Father. Yes. For whatever it is, it ain't about what you did, amen, it ain't about who did what to you, it's about how are you now going to respond to the gap. How are you going to respond to the gap that's been created? And so here it is. If we're going to successfully or effectively fill the gaps in our life, gaps get filled, hear this, by sacred solutions. You can't fill the gaps in your life, amen, by unholy people. Come on, Holy Ghost. You cannot fill the gaps in your life, amen, by trying to go out in the world and copy what they do. Right, mm -hmm. right. Come on. You can't fill the gaps in your ministry by trying to do what Bishop Jakes does. Come on, sir. Come on, Apostle. You can't fill the gaps in your relationship by doing what the next one do. Because by doing what the next one do, you might find yourself in some uh, places and positions and postures that you don't uh, really want to be in. Mm -hmm. The way to fill the gaps is by now sitting in the courts of God and saying, God, download the sacred solutions. Yes, Lord. <laughs> and now through the sacred solutions, you begin to get the blueprint on how to fill the gaps. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Hallelujah. And so it takes solutions, uh, sacred solutions, uh, to bl bridge or close the gaps. Watch this. Let me give you a couple of uh, scriptures. Turn with me to uh, Luke chapter.